Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob. So today we're gonna do a little light burn tutorial. We're, we're gonna burn like one cork coaster, but it's not really about burning the coaster. It's more about getting your laser centered using light burn and the X-Tool D1 10 watt, which is what I'm using, or your five watt or 20 watt or, or whatever. Basically just using light burn. So I, I'm seeing a lot of people on Facebook and, and this question pops up quite frequently and it is, how are you guys getting your product centered or your laser centered? Cause I'm burning it and it's coming out off center and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, today we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that laser centered where you want it, get your item in there that you're gonna burn centered and get that done so everything looks good. All right, with that, let's move over to Lightburn and we're gonna get started. Okay, so getting your product uh, centered, your laser centered is not really all that difficult. I mean, it's a few clicks and a couple of minutes to get it set up, but all in all, it's really easy. So there's a couple of things that you need to remember that are super important about this. One, home. Two, go to origin. And three, your end position. And we're gonna go through the, all that right now and get you guys set up. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to, after our laser is turned on, is we're gonna hit that home button and let our laser move all the way back to its home position. All right, now we're gonna come up here to our move tab and we're gonna open that and our distance we're going to go ahead and set up right now for 50 millimeters because we got a little ways to go so we're going to come all the way down here to this minus 90 is where we're going to actually center the laser on today for this so we're going to come down we're going to go over Now we're going to drop that to about five millimeters. Get a little bit closer. And over. And then we're going to go one millimeter increments to just fine tune it. take a look all right so this is looking really centered right now so we've got it exactly where we want it at the minus 90 now what we're gonna do is we're going to hit set origin so now once you move the laser out of the way and you hit go to origin, it's going to come back to that position. But the nice thing about this is if we hop back up here and do our 50 millimeter distance movement and we move that laser out of the way, now we hit set finish position. Okay, so now after you burn, after we burn this coaster and it's done burning, the laser is going to move out of the way. So then I can put a whole nother coaster in there or whatever else I'm burning and then hit go to origin and it's going to come back to that minus 90. That way the laser is out of the way and gives you room to get your product in there and, and all that. So with that, let's go ahead and throw a coaster in. So the coaster's in, now we will hit, well, let's go back to our cuts and layers. Speed's good, power's good. Go to origin. And now we can frame it. Uh-oh. Start in our center. And use our origin. That's 
real important too. I almost forgot that. So frame again. And let's go ahead and click on our item. Just to see how long that's going to take. Two minutes, 46 seconds. I'm on fill. That looks good. We'll hit OK. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So there you have it, nice and simple, right? Everything's centered. I mean, that, you can't get much easier than that. So if you guys got any questions, make sure you post them in the comments below and I will answer them as they come in. As always, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit the little subscribe button over here. Make sure you click like, and we'll see you guys in the next video.